Welcome to the 2007 snooker season. What I like about snooker is the way it never ceases to amaze me. Take for instance last year's final. I mean, what a corker. A real David and Goliath battle with young Sean Murphy versus seasoned campaigner Matthew Stevens. It looked like it was all over before it had even started. And when Matthew built a 10-6 lead, it looked like it was. But Sean the Magician, as we call him, pulled a real rabbit out of the hat with supreme break building and audacious shot making that simply took Matthew's breath away and his eventual victory proved a fitting end to a roller coaster tournament. Who could forget this year's gripping final where Scotsman Graham Dot won the World Snooker Championship in an epic match that I for one won't be forgetting in a hurry beating Pete Rebden 18-14 in a 32 frame extravaganza Dot rolls to the challenge and showed all the qualities needed to be a champion, proving that with the right temperament, you can go all the way. But what about this season? We have Ronnie back in the groove, Hendry playing well and a host of newcomers like Ding Jun Wee, who has had his first tournament win, and also some stunning play from the likes of Stephen Maguire and Michael Holt, and my old mate Steve Davis who's refound his old form. And that's not all for the 2007 season. This year, there's not only snooker that's on offer, you can see some of our boys in action over the pond in that strange sport of pool. Are the Yanks ready for them? Because I don't care what anyone says, any decent snooker player will make mincemeat out of the best pool player. Are they going to get the chance to do it? Because there's also this new championship called Golden Q, where Q sport professionals get to play in a mixed event. There's snooker, of course, an eight ball and nine ball pool. I just can't wait. Welcome to this second round qualifier. He's got a lucky red. Is there a colour he fancies? One. The stress of this match is really taking its toll on him. He potted that emphatically, but he's not left anything easy. Too much emphasis placed on the pot there. Not the strongest potter in the game, this man. The wrong ball almost sunk. Seven. He's staying with the high colours and might just rack up a good score on this visit. He's spoilt for choice here. It's a difficult shot using the rest, this one. That was a nicely executed plant there. Eight. Looks like the spider is required here. Good positional shot. 
Nicely done. It wasn't easy to get the pot and the position. If he gets the right angle on the black, he'll be on another red. Twelve. It's not ideal having the pink at the bulk end. It wasn't beyond the rails who expected a better positional shot there. Nineteen. I think he'll be targeting the black again. <coughs> Superb! Twenty. It wasn't an easy pot, but he made it look that way. He's made life difficult for himself. He potted the ball excellently, but he's not got a position to speak of. He'll be hoping he's done enough to sneak this frame. 27. He's spoilt for choice here. It's simply a matter of which red to choose. 28. He's controlled the cue ball nicely there. 30. He'll try his damnedest to get nicely on the black. 31. The position looks good for him here. That takes a certain amount of confidence. He'll be pleased. 38. The black after this red will give him seven more points. 39. Let's see. 39. He's left that cue ball tight in the jaws, which complicates matters. He's got to ensure the cue ball avoids the knuckle on this shot. Superb ball control. I think he can get on the pink from here. Should be able to put this one away, just needs to concentrate. Amazing pot! The tension is really showing on his face, looking very stressed. Great shot! Those kind of shots cause him real problems, so I'm glad he's managed to do well on such a hard one. What an amazing shot. Lucky not to pot the wrong ball there.
skillful positional shot. I guess he'll want a bit of power on this shot if he's to get around the table for his next. No good. I was wrong. Sixty-eight. He's well in the lead and can relax a little, but not too much. 69. Misjudged the position. Great potting. Superb ball control. What an amazing shot. Position could be worse. Cue ball, not ideal position for him, but he should be okay. We know he has very little shot power ability to draw on, which could be a problem. He gave that one a bit of welly. Looking very, very unhappy with the situation. Ought to be a straightforward pot. Superb. Superb ball control. That's not an ideal position. Brilliant. Superb. Couldn't control the cue ball. Extremely tough shot this. It's a very fine cut. Great shot. Superb ball control. He really has a very plain style of playing. He seems very unwilling to apply any kind of spin. Skillful positional shot. That was close. He looks totally demoralised at this point. One hundred and fifteen. 
took that frame by a country mile.